Hello and welcome to Shopify Express. Today we are going to set up Facebook conversion API with Google with the help of Google Tag Manager. Here is what we have in Google Tag Manager this website and here we have a form here. We are going to fill the form the first name, the email And when we click on let's do it, we come on this page, thank you page. And here in the event tag manager, if we go to our leads and in view details, in the events overview, we still see the browser recent in the recent activities. Okay, here we don't see conversion API. We see the only see browser pixels. Sometimes we don't see in the view details. We don't see any other activity, but yes, we want to see this conversion API in leads. So how this will be done? This will be done through uh, conversion API setup with the help of Google Tag Manager. We will go into our website in the Google Tag Manager. So first of all, go to setting. In the setting, we'll do a quick, quick setup set up manually in the conversion API set up manually and another option is choose a partner easily connect your web activity through a partner integration no coding required choose from WordPress Cilium segment and more basically this is a website created on Wix you, your website may be on WordPress or on Shopify but you can use the same situation once the Google Tag Manager is set up on your website, you can use it. So from here, we will choose a partner. In the partners, choose Google Tag Manager for server side. After choosing Google Tag Manager, you'll have to you'll have this window. Connect Google Tag Manager to Facebook. Okay, here we have our default uh, Google Ads account. Okay, get started. Just simply log in with your required account. Once you are logged in, you will be take to the next step, select your preferences set your preferences and then choose a pixel in the pixel you will choose the pixel uh, you will choose this pixel here in this one the, the default pixel and then click next and when, then we have to choose containers from the container account, select the account you want to choose in the container workspace, default workspace, server, container, this one and in the container No server containers were found in the selected account. Create a new server container, then click the refresh button. Okay, click a new server container. <coughs> we'll create a server container.
click on server and we'll give it name server we will give it the name to proper memorize we will click on create and then we will install google tag manager automatically provisioned user guideline to provision a server on google cloud platform manually okay in the automatically automatic click on automatically create a billing account We will select the billing account. We will select the billing, the name the billing. select the billing profile in the billing accounts we will see what accounts we have We will select one billing account. <clears throat> we will select the payment method. Okay, we will see what's next options uh, are with us. We will check with the refresh button.
okay we got it everything is perfect we we'll click on next publish resources google analytics for client required next google ads thank you page this one create a new generic trigger Okay, we will see with the Google Analytics. We will see our measurement ID in the Wix dashboard. If you go to Wix. dashboard you will see your google analytics or somewhere else directly in the google analytics uh, if i i don't have the access of google analytics so i will check it from here through this way in the settings in the custom code menu section in the analytics we will see we will go to analytics and see we will go to analytics and see if we do have the access or not okay we don't have the right account available so we would like to have the access first and i will be back after getting the access stay tuned okay guys we are back after setting up uh, 
Google, uh, Google Analytics, we have the measurement ID for our web page, we have set up it up through custom Google Analytics code here. You can see we have added a script here provided by Google Analytics. This one. Now we are going to again back where we have left. I think everything need to be done again or let, let us check we are setting it up we were choosing our account with the access okay next we'll choose the pixel once again the same process we'll select the account here the correct account the correct containing ID the correct account for server container and then next and in here it's installed next the measurement id we have already the measurement id tagging server url the tagging url will be this and then choose a trigger this one thank you page because we are dealing with here this lead and lead one is Uh, the, here you can see we have only browser parameters so this one is so it trigger one you can also select okay we will select this one then next review and choose and we will review this one I have confirmed click on publish publishing tags to your Google Tag Manager account to not close this window we will see once it's published it will take some time ok we will be back after it's published okay here we are back with the publishing process done and then next <coughs> make some quick changes to your new pixel tag and google site tag to the conversion api integration work just right next
for each event you want to set up paste the google tags function into your website we will just copy this one for each event you want to set up paste the below tag function into your website global site tag script change the sample values here we have id transaction id we'll simply make it here pixel values from here into the head apply and then we'll back here again next test connection we will have our text now <coughs> we'll copy this one with the facebook connection API tag and paste the following code into the test event code section okay here we will go here and in the test events we will write the website name here open website then we have this test test here we'll see it this one as you know we received 34 minutes ago on you trigger here we still have not received any conversion API we'll look into it Check for incoming events. In the test events. From servers. On this type of terminal in the graph of explorer start seeing activity within your server payload at the test port to the event that you want to test copy this one and then I will go here custom pixel value 
edit setting in here we will just change this one to this and then apply and then test underscore event underscore port Okay, we have made this change. In here, we will see, have a look again here. We'll open this one. Okay, we will put this one here in the events for testing purposes. We will create a new, we will check with the new one. test clear activity and then again Okay, we will add this code and we'll add this in here. this one back to this t underscore one two three four five this one user data in user data we will add this code here and 
and then apply and in here after applying we will open a website now we will see in the browser its process in the server here we cannot see it on the graph here test code generate access token okay we will create one access token also in the overview in the settings we'll generate access token we'll copy this one and in the test events in the server in the graph we will paste this access token permission public and then submit event received yes now we'll go here back okay we received the event in here we'll go next you are all set up finish now we will see server side one is active continue setup we will continue it I think we have already finished this one but let's see yes we have already finished this one in here the details okay here if we again go to back go back to this website first name Ali Once we do this from server side, we we'll look into this one here.
we'll have a look into our conversion API that is set up or not. Okay, here events are website actions that are set up on your Google Tag Manager site and are being sent to Facebook using the API Pixel. Create an ad to drive more variable, valuable events such as purchases. I think we are finished with this one. Partner integrations. See details. Settings. We'll check back again here. If we can see the okay here it was 48 minutes ago it was 9. Now again we will see what happens that we receive server API conversion or not. Okay, it will take about 20 minutes. We will come back after 20 minutes. Okay, here you know as uh, we have submitted and we have received our uh, convergence APIs. As you can see here in event overview, we have received two convergence as we applied already. So this was all about conversion API. Thank you so much for watching tutorial. Have a great day. Bye bye.